Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Vladimir. Hello. Joao, Vicky, Morena. It's glad to see you here. And it's glad that we are about to finish our model number uh, two. So today we are going to continue with section number five. And we just have a, a without a, taking into account a, this, a, we just have two classes a, left, two classes pending, right? So it's tomorrow and Thursday that we expect to have a review and to finish the uh, final exam, to work on the final exam. So let me share with you my screen. Okay. Okay, so that's the platform, right? So I would like to show you what part of the platform we are working now. So let me show you, yes. Okay, uh, can you watch the screen? The platform screen? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, excellent. It says uh, we are now in the five point five lesson objective that says by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using can and can't. In here, I would like that you can pay attention to both pronunciations because uh, in the American English, we used to contract the negative of can not, right? You can say cannot, and it's okay. In the British English, you, you listen more frequently cannot, right? But in the American English, you normally listen can't. So when you say can't, you need to feel that you're doing an extra effort in your stomach. So I would like that you uh, put your hand, your left hand or your right hand on your stomach, right? Do it now, please. Eh, por favor, necesito que se pongan su manita en el estómago, ¿sí? Eh, y que pronuncien can't. Can't. El negativo. Can't. Can't. Do you feel the, the strength? Sienten, ¿verdad? La compresión muscular can't. que se hace en esa zona cuando usted dice can't. Can. ¿Sí? ¿Cierto? Yes. Sí. Okay. ok, I would like that you can feel it because that's the correct way to pronounce that uh, negative contraction. Quiero que lo sientan y lo digo en español porque esa es la forma, porque si usted se asegura que está diciéndolo de la manera correcta, ¿verdad? Obviamente cuando esté conversando no va a ponerse la mano para sentir <laughs> la fuerza en su estómago, ¿verdad? Pero that's, that was my training. Ese fue mi entrenamiento para poder pronunciar correctamente la forma negativa contractada can't can't sí porque uno tiende a decir can casi dice can verdad y, y, y no lo hace con fuerza entonces cuando usted no lo hace bien se oye como que fuera el afirmativo can es muy diferente cuando yo digo can incluso mis labios if you see my lips they are like relaxed están como relajados verdad can can Pero cuando yo digo can't, ve que e se expande y casi muestro todos mis dientecitos, ¿verdad? Así, can't, como que estuviera sonriendo así un poco fingido. Can't, can't. Y usted siente la fuerza de, eh, de su músculo estomacal, ¿verdad? Cuando pronuncia la nt, can't, can't, can't. Ese sonido de nt. It's not very common in Spanish. That's why you need to make an extra effort in order to pronounce it correctly, right? Ese sonido de la contracción de la NT no es un sonido muy común en el español. Por eso tenemos que hacer un ejercicio consciente para poderlo pronunciar bien. So, can, relajado, puedo, can, afirmativo, can. but can't, 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 okay? That's the negative. Okay, so I would like that you can continue practicing, right? That's why you have the platform. In the platform, you have a video, and I would like, I invite you to go and watch the video many times, and that you can continue practicing, saying that word until you can get the right pronunciation, right? Okay, so that's the video I'm talking about, uh, pronunciation of can and can't, right? Even here, 
you have uh, the, the phonetic uh, transcription, the phonetic symbols that we use, but you, you need to, to watch the video and listen and play it again and again until you get the, uh, the right pronunciation, okay? So, uh, if you see the topic for today is um, 5.7 lesson objective also that says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using can for ability, right? Can for ability. In the platform, you have a 5.8 a can for ability and conversation, right? Uh, you have a video that says, I, can, I can't, I can't sing very well, right? So it's expressing that he or she doesn't have the ability to sing very well, right? So you have the, uh, you need to watch the video in the platform. And then you will go to the knowledge check that we will work later because by now I need to stop sharing and I would like to start with the presentation of the class in order that we can practice this topic today. So um, what I have for you is like a summary of can and cannot. As I was saying, um, cannot is very common in the British English, but in the American English, you say can't. Mm. Okay, the uses of can. You use can to express ability or the possibility that something can happen. For example, I can swim. That's okay. the ability. I have the ability or the possibility to swim, so I can swim. You can use can also for uh, asking permission, but let me tell you that this is in a very informal way, right? Uh, you can use my pen. So I'm giving you the permission, but normally when I'm asking permission or um, yes, when I'm asking permission to a person that is not uh, very familiar to me, normally I say, may I use your pen please? But if you trust enough and, and you're very familiar, you can say, can I use your pen? And the person can say, yes, you can use it. You can use my pen. But this is not like a formal, a very formal request. That is informal. Uh, also, um, you, have, you need to take into account and you need to be very careful that we normally use can plus the verb. When we say the verb, we are talking about the base form of the infinity. For example, he can speak English. That's the right form. In this case, look and please pay attention to this because it's very important. Even though you have learned that when we say affirmative sentences, uh, we need to add a ness like this. So let me show you. I want to highlight this because for me it's very important, okay? So uh, even though you have learned that when we talk about he or she or it in an affirmative sentence, we need to add the letter S to the main verb. And that's right, that's the rule. But remember that always that you're using can or any other modal auxiliary, uh, should, may, could, and any other, you don't have to follow that rule. So you say he can speak English. You don't have to add an S in this case because you're using a, a modal auxiliary here. So you don't have to use the letter S. And you say he can speak English and no S. Um, also, you don't have to add to, right? You don't have to add the, the word to um, to the verb, you just need the base form, right? The base form and say, he can speak English. You don't have to say, he can to speak English. No, that's not correct. So the correct form is, he can speak English with no S and no to, right? So that's a very important rule. Okay, later I will explain the affirmative sentences. You say, I can speak English, you can ride a bike, he can drive a car, she can play the guitar, it can swim. If you see in these cases, I'm 
talking about the possibility or the ability to do something, right? But uh, we can also use a plural form and say, we can play football. If you see the uh, can word, the model auxiliary doesn't change, right? With any of the persons, no matter if it's singular or plural, it remains the same, can. We can play football, you can see the stars, they can dance. So what can I do for the negative? Okay, you add the, um, in this case, the contraction, right? The, the apostrophe and the T. And you say can't, as I was explaining at the beginning of the class. I can't speak French. You can't ride a horse. He can't drive a truck. She can't play the piano. It can't fly. We can't play tennis. You can't see germs. They can't sing, okay? So remember that this is a contraction and the full form is cannot, cannot. If you see a British uh, English speaker, you will, you will realize that they say cannot. Okay, so he can sing, he can't, he can't sing is equals to say he cannot sing. So what do I have to do in order to change an affirmative form into a question? Basically, you have to move the auxiliary, or in this case, the model auxiliary can at the beginning of the sentence and say, can they speak Spanish? And the possible answers are yes, they can, if this is an affirmative sentence, or no, they can't, if the answer is negative. Okay, here, uh, let me see. Okay, here I have some other examples for you that I would like that you can help me to answer. So I will need like 15 volunteers so you can repeat your participation, there's no problem. So if you see here in the, let's see if this is the right, uh, no, in the left side, you have some verbs, right? I have here bake, do, drive, paint, play, uh, twice. We are going to use it twice. Read, ride, uh, roller skate, scuba dive, sing, ski, uh, soap, and walk, twice. Uh, so, um, I have 15 questions and I would like that you can help me to uh, use it and use the right form of can or can't in the exercises. So it says, who says that? Who says that? Complete the sentences with can or can't and correct the verb in the list. Then uh, match them to the pictures. So volunteer for number one. I like swimming a lot, but I, so who says that? Look, look, look uh, all, the, all the drawings and see the possibility. Okay, maybe it's this one, right? Number one, can you see? So the yes. example is, I like swimming a lot, but I can't, Can maybe can't uh, scuba dive, right? Scuba dive, look. Yeah, because it seems that he's having some difficulties, right? Uh, teacher, oh. what's the meaning of scuba dive? Eh, como buceo, una especie de buceo. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Es como, yo puedo nadar, Eh, mucho, a lot, mucho, but, pero, no puedo eh, hacer buceo, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Ok, uh, so, no fear. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like asfixia with the oxygen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, look that whenever we are go going to use a negative form or can't, we normally have the preposition but, eh, because you are, Remember that we use but when we are uh, comparing uh, two ideas that are quite different, right? 
So mm -hmm. I can do this, but I can't do that. Okay, thank you. Let, uh, who would like to help me with number two? Says Lucy, baseball, she is in the school team. Can or can't? Can't. Can. Can. Can dijo can, affirmative. Me, Adonai. Oh, okay, Adonai, yes. You're right, Adonai. Because if you see the sentence, it doesn't have a but, preposition, and uh, the next sentence is like affirming the first one. So Lucy can, yeah. right? Plays, uh, baseball. Can play baseball. Esa es una primera afirmación. Y luego, they reinforce or they strengthen the next uh, sentence and says, uh, she's in the school team, right? So it's affirmative. Thank you. Okay, number three, my brother. Kent. Brother, can drive a car. Can right. Can drive a car. Okay. Uh, can, affirmative or can't? Can. It's affirmative. Affirmative. Okay, okay, it's affirmative, right? Because that's my brother can drive a car. He passed his driving test last month. So it's an, uh, the second sentence is uh, strengthening the first one. It's like number two, right? Okay, excellent. Uh, number four. I can't. Yes, can't because it has a but. I can. I can't. But but what is the verb? I'm sure I will learn next win next winter. Okay, next winter. That's the key. La palabra clave para encontrar el verbo es next winter. So what we normally do in winter? So look look at the Hi. drawing. Yes. Ski. 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 Yes. Excuse me. I can ski, but I'm sure I will learn next winter. Yes, excellent. Okay, number five, volunteer for number five. Let's see. Tony, he's afraid of falling down. So first, what do you think is the drawing? Maybe this one, right? But maybe the verb can be, let's see. Maybe roller skate, right? It could be, I know this is, yes. It seems that it's this one. Uh, let's try with this. Vamos a trabajar con esta, vamos a ver. Eh, Tony, because it's a boy, right? And in this case, it's a girl. So we will take this. Tony mm -hmm. uh, can, 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 can her escape. roller skate. Yes. Can roller he's, skate. he's afraid of falling down, right? So it's like Tony no puede, ¿verdad? Hacer este deporte que se llama roller skate. Eh, él tiene miedo de caerse. That's the reason, right? Why he's afraid. Okay, let's see. Number six. I, delicious butter cakes. I can cook. Can. Yes, maybe we are talking about this drawing, right? I can cook. I can. Or maybe, bake. Or bake, right. Excuse bake. me. I can cook. In this case, bake. we are using bake, right? I can right? bake. Bake. I can bake. Yes. Delicious butter cake. Yes, that's the right, the right answer. Okay, number eight. I have a baby brother. He. Maybe the baby brother is can't. Him. Yes. He can. He can walk. Yes. Can. He can't walk yet. yet. Can't. Negative. Can. Negative. Yes. Okay, number nine, Mark, a horse. In fact, he's a great horseman. Can. Yes. Can, affirmative, right? Can. 
Mark can ride a can, horse. Can ride a horse. Yes. In fact, he's a great horse. Yes, Mark. excellent. Okay, number 10. Zuzi. Ah, can't. Zuzi. Can't. Can't. Can't, right? Can't walk. Can't yes. walk. Can't walk because she's broken her leg. <clears throat> so we are talking about this lady. She's Zuzi. Okay, excellent. Number 11. I, beautiful pictures, I want to be an artist. Okay. So maybe we are talking about this, this person, right? And maybe the verb can't is pay. Can't paint. Pay. Yeah. I can, I can, I can paint. paint. Yes. Can I can paint beautiful pictures. I want to, I be, want to be an artist. <laughs> excellent. Number two. Rosie, beautifully, she's a uh, chorister. In. So maybe we are talking about, um, let's see where Rosie is. Let's see. Mm. Where is Rosie? Let's see where Rosie is. Le she's Rosie, look. She's singing, right? Oh, okay. So she can sing. Yes, sing. Rosie, sing. Rosie she can, can sing can beautifully. Sing. She's a choirister, right? Una chorista. She's a chorist. uh -huh. okay. Yes, chorister. Okay, number thirteen. They football like a professional. So who can says? play? Can can. 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 Can, right? Can. Affirmative. Can play. can play football. Yes. Dave can play football like a professional. Like a professional. In this case, like a professional is como un profesional. Como un profesional. Yes. Okay, let's see. Number 14. Uh, I yet so my mom always reads me a story before I go to bed. So. I can't yes. drive. So maybe we are talking about. Oh, the ain't real. Can't read. Negative, right? Can't. I can't. 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 I can't, can't read yet. Todavía, ¿verdad? No puedo read. leer yeah. todavía. Ese yet es todavía. I so, can't. my mom yeah. always oh, reads me a story you? before I go to bed. Go to bed. Go to Excellent. Bed. Number 15. I, I will. I'm a very sporty person. Maybe I'm talking about this because he's talking about a car, uh, cart wheel, right? Cart wheel. Mm -hmm. So, can or can't? I can. Can. Yes. Can. Affirmative. I can, Affirmative. I can drive, right? Drive. Right. Yes. A cart wheel. I'm a very sporty person. Excellent. Very good. You did a great job identifying the picture, identifying the verb, and identifying the right form of can or can't. Okay. Uh, if you remember, we were talking about the preposition uh, but, right? So here I have some pictures. I have eight pictures, right? So the idea is that we can use can or can't and the verb from the picture to complete the sentences. I already did number one as an example. And I wrote, and I write, uh, the boy can walk, but he can't jump. Why? Uh, because he has a, a hard leg, right? So the boy can walk, but he can't jump. So what I want you to do is that you can elaborate sentences based on the next seven uh, drawings and I will send you the image of this exercise to the uh, to your whatsapp group and then I would like that you can join in the in the breakout rooms in order to practice and try to elaborate uh, some uh, sentences using can or can't depending on the drawing and the verb so uh, do you have questions so far Tenemos preguntas acerca. Tenemos preguntas acerca del ejercicio. No, no. Okay. So in this case, let me send you the invitation to the breakout room, breakout rooms. 
Okay. So please join. El chico puede caminar, pero no saltar. Uh -huh. bueno. Hi, teacher. Hi, my dears. I'm here just in case you have questions. Is everything okay? It's okay. Eh, okay. Solo de hacer las oraciones. Yes, aquí. only the sentences. And since you are three in the group, you divide two, two, two in order that all of you can participate when you have to share in a plenary. Okay. 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 Excellent. See you in a minute. Okay. Kim. Kim John. La rana puede saltar, no. Lo que pasa es que lleva el verbo, el swing. Ah, y swing es nadar, ¿verdad? Correcto. Oh. Ah, pues no. Kim. Oh, de sapo. Oh. Kim swing, entonces. Hello, is everything okay here, my dears? Do you have questions? Eh, no. <laughs> no. Okay, excellent. I'll give you a... Excuse me? Eh, la formulación, más que todo del, del sapo. The frog, okay? You can say uh, the frog, the frog, maybe the frog can swim, but it can't walk, for example. Ah, okay, so okay, you, okay. you need to think about other verb because remember that you're comparing something that it can do mm -hmm. with something that it can't, right? Okay, okay. Vamos okay. a usar amb ambas, ambas en oración. Okay. Yes, uh, so you need to think in another verb. For example, I'm saying walk, for example. Okay. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Frog, See you in a minute. Frog, frog. Okay. okay. Frog, uh -huh. you write it F, F. Uh, R, R, O, G, frog. G. Yes, frog. frog. Okay, thank you. Excellent. See you in a minute. Okay, okay, okay. Entonces sería. Yeah. Pero qué podemos poner que puede hacer the boy. Can walk. Can, ajá, primero, ajá, correcto. The boy ajá, can walk, but he can't. Hello, my uh, dears. Do hello, you teacher. Help? Do you need some help? Mm, no, teacher. No? Okay. No. Um, just, just a clue. No, no. You can use the same verbs that you have in order to uh, formulate your sentence. For example, the boy uh, uh, can, can't jump, but he can sing. For example, let's, uh -huh. let's, let's imagine okay, that, okay. that the boy can sing. So you can re reuse the, the verbs or the other drawings in order to formulate one sentence for the other. Okay. Okay, excellent. See you in a minute, okay? Okay, thanks. No, ellos pueden. Ellos pueden cantar en el concierto. They can sing in the concert. They can sing in the concert. 
Hello, hello. Is everything hello. okay? Do you have hello, questions? Teacher. Hello, teacher. Tenemos preguntas, mis estimadas y estimados. Uh, Con la bueno, pronunciación no. de, 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 de why, why. Which, uh, right. Mientras. Oh, yes. while. 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 So uh, what do you want to say? Um, say, uh, said, uh, mm -hmm. Monica. Yeah, la, la, la tres. Nosotros yes, la, yes. La, la construimos. She, she can't write, right. write dri driving. Ah, okay. In mm -hmm. this case, it's right. In this case, the W, the W doesn't sound. So it's right. Right. Yes, right. Yes. Okay. Thank you, you, you can, you can uh, do uh, sentences um, or you can do uh, like comparisons. For example, she can write a letter uh, or you can say she can write, but she cannot sing, right? Or she can't sing. If you want to, to, to have a more complete sentence saying that she can do something, but she can't do the other thing. If not, it's okay that you say she can write a letter. That's it. She Thank can you. write a letter. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah it, a simple sentence or you can compare. Can do this, but can't do that. Uh, uh, teacher, in the case del swim, but he can't swim because don't like. It's yeah, uh, for example, you can say, uh, the frog can swim in the lake, or this, the frog can swim in the river. Or you can say, the, the frog can, can swim, but it cannot walk. I, uh, I escribí, I can swim like a frog. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny sentence, but I like it. Yeah, very nice. Very okay. good. You're okay. very creative. <laughs> okay. okay, I'll give you one uh, one more minute in order that you can continue advancing and finish, right? Two more minutes. Okay, okay. See you in a minute, okay? Okay, Monica? <laughs> eh, no. She can. She can cantar, cantar. She can sing. She can, ah. she can sing. sing. Cantar o este. Cantar. Hello, hello. How is it going? Hello, teacher. How many hello, questions do you still have pending? ¿Cuántas les hacen falta todavía? Dos y media. Excuse me. Uh -huh. Dos y media. <laughs> okay, two and a half. It's okay. So you need like uh -huh. one minute, two more minutes more. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. See you. Okay. Sería, she can play. They can play any any instrument hello hello Is everything just, okay? we, do you have questions? I have a question yes please yes. go ahead and the number five yeah. i can wrote uh, they can sing but they can't play any oh. instrument oh, yes means. yes that's right that's okay, okay. it's a very good example yeah. Eh, and the number four, eh, bueno, lo decimos antes en español porque me cuesta. Este, ¿Podemos hacer el uso del ING o todavía no? Eh, what was your example? ¿Cómo fue tu uh, And the number four, the number four. Uh -huh. eh, he can swim because he can drawing. Eh, draw, in this case only draw. draw. Yes. Ah, only draw. Ok, ok, he, ok. Eh, you he can say. can't swim. He can swim, but he uh -huh. can draw. Ah, okay, but. But if you want to use ing, you, you can say do drawings. 
Ah, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. but, do, but do drawing he, or only draw? Okay. But he draw. Okay, mm -hmm. do you have extra questions? Mm -hmm. No. No. Okay, no. excellent. Thank I'll you. Give you. I'll give you a couple of minutes in order that you can finish, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> Muy enriquecedor el curso. Sí, así es. Hello, how is Hello. it going, my dear? Did you finish? Yes. Excellent. Yes, teacher. So, I'll call you back in a minute because I'm finishing my uh, looking around the groups, okay? Okay. I'll call you back. Okay. Then. Hello, welcome back. Hello. Hello, hello, my dear participants. Uh, I'll give you just a couple of seconds in order that all people can join us and start the plenary by sharing your presentations on what sentence, on the examples of the sentences, sentences you wrote in the uh, main rooms, in the breakout rooms, I mean. So let's see, let's see, the people is coming. Okay, excellent. Uh, I would like to ask you, who wants to start? Uh, which team would like to start saying, uh, since you are three, I would like to have at least three sentences per group, okay? That each uh, member of the group get, can read at least one of the sentences that you elaborated. I know that you work on more than three because I was around looking for and, uh, discussing some points with you, but at this uh, point, because of the time, I need just one sentence per member. So who would like to start? Let's see. Uno por grupo, dice. Yeah, one, no, one sentence, sentence per member of the group. So every ah, member okay. of the group needs to speak because the idea is that all of you can speak, saying at least one sentence of the ones that you elaborated in the group, right? Okay. Even though I know that you did more because I was around looking. Uh, so I know that you almost complete and other groups complete the seven, the eight sentences. But because of the time, I just will need one sentence per participant. Okay, okay. so who wants to start? Would you like Vladimir? Uh, sí. Okay, uh, please, go Carlos y Vicky. Carlitos y Vicky, are you ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. You can start now. Time is yours. Comienza. Bueno, comencé yo. <ríe> Ni modo. Este, la primera sería eh, the frog. Ah, no. La, la dos, quiero decir. Uh -huh. eh, the frog can swim, but it can't fly. Okay, excellent. Very good example. So who will continue? Sí, Carlos. Carlos? Okay. Um, number six. Okay. She can play tennis, but she can't sing. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Carlos. Now, Vicky. Okay. Um, number three. Okay. She can write but she can't draw. Okay, excellent. Very good example. Thank you, team. Thank you very much. Okay, who else? You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, You're welcome. Uh, which team would like to continue? Otra teacher, Monica. Okay. 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 Morenita and Monica. Go ahead. Adelante. Uh, numero cinco. Yes, number five. They can sing. In the concert. 
Okay. Num number two. Mm -hmm. The frog can sweep perfectly. Okay, excellent, excellent. Very good, good examples. Thank you, team. Only you two, right? Yes. Okay, yes. excellent. Thank you. Who wants to continue uh, from the teams? May I? Yes, Ramiro, please go ahead. Who was your team member? Uh, my team was four. Okay. Aquí estoy, Ramiro. Estoy. With Joao. Okay. Joao, jo excellent. Only, yes, yes. only you two, right? Uh, the eight. This water can fly, but then can drive a car. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Ramiro. Uh, Joao? Uh, number one. Okay. Uh, the, the boy can... Uh, can... Perdón, aquí lo tengo. Permítame. No, don't the worry. Boy, I'm just saying. The boy can walk... Perdón, perdón, no, no, no. The boy can't... Mm -hmm. Can't walk... But he, but he can uh, sing. Excellent, excellent, thank you. You were only two in your team, right? Okay, yes. thank you, thank you very much. Victor Martinez, please, go ahead. Uh, with Janari and Raquel, creo. Okay, Janari and Raquel, are you ready? Yes. Okay, you decide who starts. Me, teacher. Okay, please. Uh, seven. Uh, the old man can see, mm -hmm. but he can walk very fast. Okay. Uh, the last one was negative, right? Can't walk. Uh, the old it? man can't. Oh. Okay. Can see. See. Okay. But he can walk very fast. Excellent. Okay, that's right. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Next member of the team. Number six. Okay, Raquelita. He can play tennis, but she can't play soccer. Okay, excellent. Thank you. And, and me. okay. Uh, they can, uh, the boy can sing, mm -hmm. but they can't play any instrument. Okay, excellent. The voice, right? If you're talking about number five. Excellent. So let me see who's missing. Uh, no, I think all of you participate already. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Congratulations because uh, you were able to use can and can't to express ability according to the drawings and according to the verbs that you see on every chart, on every, uh, yes, on every um, part of the chart. So now I have here some other examples uh, and I would like that you can help me again. Uh, for example, it says, he can walk, but he can't swim, for example. So, I need a volunteer for the, for the bird. Who can say? Okay, Victor, please go ahead. It can fly. Mm -hmm. He can't write. Okay, it can fly, but it can't. But it can't. Right. right. Excellent, right. Victor. Thank you. Okay, I need a volunteer for the ladies. Uh, Me. Drawing. Yes, please, go ahead. She can't sign? Sing. Sing, sorry. Mm -hmm. She can't sing, but she can talk. Okay. Um, excellent. Or maybe you can say, uh, the first one was negative, right? Can't. Yes, Anna? yes, yes. Okay. She can't sing, but she can walk, talk. Excellent. Talk. That, talk. Yes, excellent. Thank you. Okay, who wants to help me, please, with the car drawing? Yo. Okay, please, go ahead. He can drive. He can't fly. Okay, excellent. Very good. Who wants to help me, please, with the monkey, with this little monkey? Me. Okay, oh, okay. please, please, Angelita. It can jump, mm -hmm. but it can't speak. Excellent, very good. Okay, I need help with this boy. Who would like to help me, please? I? Yes, please, Morena. He can write, but he can dance. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute for me, please. Somebody came and they, oops. It's a little, okay, wait a minute for me. Okay, the light came again. <laughs> okay, who wants to help me with the TV, with the TV lady? Hello. May I teach you? Yes, please. She can swim, but she can't watch TV. Okay, the first one is can't, right? Right. She can't, but, she, sorry, she can't swim, mm -hmm. she can watch TV. Excellent, thank you. Okay, I need a volunteer for this boy. Who can yeah. help? Yes, please. He Go can, ahead. He can drink, but he can't study. Excellent, thank you. Okay, who can help me please? Uh, who would like to help me please with the lady, with the dancer? Hi. Yes, please. She, she can't can. read. Mm -hmm. She can dance. Okay. She can't read, but but she can dance. Excellent. Thank you. And my dear, my friend that was uh, saying me in the previous uh, uh, would like to help me with the boy. The last. He can play tennis. Okay. But he can't play basketball. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, You're let's welcome. see. Uh, we are going to continue. And now I would like that you can uh, continue working with these sentences. So I'll send you the image to the WhatsApp group, right? So let me, yes, I have it here. And uh, there we have six sentences. And the example says, um, I mean, the instruction says, complete the sentences, follow the example. She can speak Italian, but she can't speak French. So you have the spaces uh, in this case for you to complete. Lisa, read, but she write. He played the guitar, but he played the piano. You play football, but you play tennis. We run fast, but we swim. My baby sister walk, but she talk. I sing, but dance. So uh, I will send you the invitation. I already sent you the sentences to um, the WhatsApp group. So I would like that you can join again and that we can complete these six sentences, please. So please join.
Uh, pengawal kenapa jugar tu? <laughs> you can you can you can't play you can't football, but play football. You can play yeah. tennis. But you can play tennis. Play tennis. Hi, teacher. Hello, my dear. So you have questions? I'm listening. You're practicing. I like it. Este, verdad que no hay problema si, eh, digamos, por ejemplo, en el de en la dos, dice he can. Nosotros le hemos puesto que sí puede tocar guitarra, pero no piano. <laughs> yes, that's right. No, no, no hay orden, ¿verdad? No, there is no order. But the, the oh, okay. preposition but means that there's one idea that is opposite to the other, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. See you in a minute, okay? Thanks, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And we can or we can't we can mm -hmm. we can run fast ni una ni otra puedo yo <laughs> but fast, but we you can't yeah. swim teacher hello my dear so you have questions Yes, we have questions. Okay, tell me, how can I help you? Este, creemos que lo mismo es como en la, es como en la, como la, como la matemática que el orden de los factores no altera el producto. Porque... Yes, you're right. You can do <laughs> no, the, okay. the positive at the beginning or the negative at the beginning. Don't worry. Okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. Only remember that whenever you have the preposition but, it means that they are opposite ideas. I can do this, but I can't do that. Or I can't do this, but I can do that. That. Okay. Don't the worry important. about the order. Yes. The important is okay. the pronunciation. Yeah, which is important is the pronunciation. And that's why if you see, there's a lot of exercises about the same, but I'm, I'm pushing you in order that you can pronounce can and can't because okay. that was yeah. the idea of today's class excellent okay. like it See excellent. You in okay 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 hello teacher <laughs> Hello, hello, how is it going? Como vamos? About to finish? Are you about to finish? I think. Uh, excellent, finish, like teacher. it. I'll uh -huh. call you back in a minute, okay? Okay. Excellent. Okay. See you. Hello, hello, welcome back. Good to have you here again. I hope you have had enough chance in order to complete the sentences. Uh, so because of the time, uh, I need that uh, six volunteers can help me uh, in a very quick way in order to complete, uh, the, no matter the way you write it, no matter the order, but how you did it. Okay, so who wants to start? Let's see. Okay, please, go ahead. Lisa can read, but she can't write. Excellent, that's good. Okay, volunteer for number two. Me, teacher. Please, go ahead. He can play the guitar, but he can't play the piano. Excellent, thank you. Volunteer for number three. Yo. Please. I, uh, you, can, you can play football, but you can play tennis. Excellent, thank you. Number four. Your teacher. Yes, please, Monica. We can run fast, but we can't swim. Excellent. Number five. Okay. My teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Adelante, Ramiro. Go ahead. My baby sister can walk, but she can't talk. Excellent, thank you. And the last one, number six. Okay. 
let's see. Hey, teacher. Yes, please. I can't sing, but but I can dance. Excellent. Very good. I like it. I like it very much. Okay, because of the time, uh, tomorrow we are going to continue uh, producing questions and any other uh, exercises that I have prepared for you in this presentation. By now, I'm going to stop sharing this and I will go quickly to the platform because I want to show you uh, the exercise that we need to complete. So I would like to ask you, can you watch my screen? Pueden ver mi nueva pantalla? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, excellent. Yes, teacher. So, in the platform, you have to complete this knowledge check that says um, Gabriela is talking about things she can and can't do. Complete the sentences following the example. I can't draw, right? So that's the example. So, in the in you have to pay attention to the drawing in order that you can say can or can't. For example, number two is. Uh, can, right? I can act. If you see the lady is dressing and he's uh, performing before a lot of people. So it means that she can, affirmative, act. The other uh, is another lady that is ready, repairing a car. So it's affirmative. She can uh, fix cars, right? And the other one is uh, a lady that is like falling down. Uh, on the eyes, so you can say, no, this lady can't. So you say, she, uh, the lady says, I can't ice skate very well because she fell down, right? Okay, the other one is um, number three. It, they, they, they look like different, but you need to pay attention to the drawing because they are not in the exact order. I, and you see the boy is like, no, She's hurting my ears. <laughs> so the lady says, I can't sing. Uh, in the other case, they are like having fun, right? And is I can play tennis. So it's affirmative. And the last one, um, I can play the piano because the, the person is executing perfectly the uh, piano. So for tomorrow, we are going to continue discussing about abilities and talents, and we will talk a little bit more about us. By now, if you see, my intention was that you can pronounce uh, many times can and can't, in order that you can do it uh, very well. Okay, uh, do you have questions so far? No, teacher. No? Okay, excellent. Uh, it has been a pleasure to have you here and practice the right pronunciation of can and can't for abilities. I encourage you to continue practicing, to go to the platform, to watch the video and continue practicing until you can do it uh, without uh, taking care of your stomach uh, muscle, right? So you need to memorize and once you uh, get the habit, it, it's going to be okay when you want to say can or can't. Okay, my dear, thank you for coming. I hope to see you here tomorrow to continue, okay? Thank okay, you, teacher. teacher. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Okay,